Hi, today I wanted to show you my another four scripts I use quite often. They are a little bit more specific, but still do save me time. I will use Dynamo Player this time instead of Dyna Browser, for your convenience. First script, Move Viewport. Sometimes you realize you want to have some viewports on the other sheets. You can go to Project Browser, find the specific name, select, and drag and drop on the other sheet and place it manually. It will get the next number. But what if you wanted to see on the same place with the same number? In this case, I will use my script. I will select the viewport, or I can select two or three viewports. I will go on the other sheet and run the script. So it has the same place, the same number, the same name. The second script is sheets renumbering. For example, if I have more plans, I should move all this sheet, starting from number three, down. In this case, I will use this script. I will type this and plus two, or just two. And it will move all the sheets down. It also works in the other direction. So in this case, I will type 105 and minus 2, and it will bring me back. If I want to change prefix, so for example, here we have a specific project structure. If I want to change architectural for structural, I will use this script. works like that. The third one, color revision clouds. Um, by default, all the revision clouds in Revit has the same color. My script will change its colors according to the dates. For example, I created three dates. So the revision two is the latest one. And the latest one is always red. So I'll play the script. You can see it's red. Let's create another revision in the future. Also, using the print script from the previous video, you can create a script to print the latest revision in just one click. Let us sign this one. and play the script. The fourth script is quite specific. I call it view filter create. When someone asks you to create a schedule, let's say of bar stools with drawings and sections, you want to create another section but you don't want to see this section on other sheets, of course. Or otherwise, other sections on your sheet. So the most convenient way, which I figured out uh, doing it for three or four years, is to create another building section. Let's call it specific section. Then I will play my script. Again, I should select the section. There is a message that the filter has been successfully created. And after that, I go visibility filters. That is the new filter created. You can see that it is for callouts, 
and sections. It has its name. Okay. And then I will turn off all the sections and callouts, which are not specific section. There is a problem if you want to see two different types of sections on the same plan, but mostly, mostly you want to see one plan for one purpose. Thank you for watching. I hope these scripts can be useful for you too. You can find them on my GitHub. I will leave the link in the description.